There is a difference between the AV node and the AV valve, but some people tend to mix them up, so let's look at them one by one. The AV node is called the atrioventricular node, and it plays a role in maintaining the heart's rhythmic beats. So here's an illustration of the heart. The AV node is actually right here next to the valve, but it's actually not the key player here. The key player is actually the SA node, aka the pacemaker, aka the sinoatrial node, and it's going to be a cluster of autorhythmic cells located at the right atrium wall. This SA node is going to set the rate and timing at which all cardiac muscles contract. So what it's going to do is send an electrical impulse and cause the atria to contract and send their blood to the ventricles here and here. Now we don't want to get ahead of ourselves and send the blood to the arteries before we send all of our blood from our atria to the vest, uh, ventricles. So what we're going to do is send the electrical impulse to the AV node and the AV node will act as a relay point. It's going to delay the pulse so it allows the entire atria to empty before the ventricles start to contract. Now after the AV node, the electrical impulse is going to go through this wall where we have uh, bundle branches or bundles of hiss. After the bundles of hiss, we will go to the heart apex located right here where the electrical impulse will uh, pretty much vibrate throughout the entire heart and cause the ventricles to contract with the Purkinje fibers. Now for the AV valve it's a bit different. The AV valve is called the atrial ventricular valve so similar name but different function. It's gonna play a role in regulating blood flow. So here again is an illustration of the heart. The AV valves are located here and here and appear with the semilunar valves. So what the AV valves are going to do is lie between the atrium and the ventricles. And they're going to keep blood from flowing back into the atria, so no reverse flow. The semilunar valves are located at the exits of the heart, so the pulmonary arteries and the aorta. And they're going to prevent backflow when the ventricles start to contract and send their blood out. So the AV valve plays a very important role in the cardiac cycle. And we're going to have the cardiac cycle in three phases. First of all, we're going to have the atrial and ventricle diastole. So we're going to have relaxations in the atrium and the ventricles. So blood returns from the veins. It's going to return from the veins here and enter the atrium. And at the same time, they're going to flow into the ventricles through the AV valves. The second part is atrial systole, so the atria are going to contract, and ventricular diastole, so they're going to relax. So again, the atria contracts, so we're going to send blood from the atria to the ventricles. And basically, for the third part, we're going to have ventricular systole, and atrial diastole. So the ventricles are going to contract, send the blood out through either the pulmonary arteries or the aorta, and basically that's how we go back to the beginning with the blood entering back in through the atria. All right, and basically that's the difference between the AV node and the AV valve based on their functions of rhythmic beat and blood flow respectively.